Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping by our gray house. My name is Lisa and in today's video I am starting my pumpkin craft, Captain get out the way, I'm starting my pumpkin craft series and that's where I'm just I'm going to show you a lot of different ways, well I think it's a lot of different ways, a lot of different ways to make pumpkins and I think I have like nine or ten maybe 11 projects in total. Anyway, today's the first day of the series and so I'm going to be showing you three pumpkins. Now I, I can't even remember how many pumpkins I'm showing you. I think three pumpkins and they're super easy. I got the items to make the project at the Dollar Tree. So budget friendly, affordable, easy to make. What more could you want? Let's get crafting. DIY number one. To make this 3D pumpkin, you're going to need this five pack of Crafter Square Color Your Own Ornament in the Shape of a Pumpkin. And you're only going to use four of them. So what you're going to do is set one aside and then these other three you're going to cut in half. I just used my miter saw. So it wasn't too hard to cut because the, the wood is really kind of thin. But I'm just going to take this little block and just make sure it's kind of smooth because some of the edges do get a little bit rough. I'm just trying to get some of the excess dust off here and I've got this super cute little thing you guys. It is a little crafting vacuum and it just picks up everything. Just go like that, run it over where you want to clean. Pretty much picks up everything. Okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint this because I tried to do it earlier didn't paint it it got to be it just it was too hard to paint it after so I'm gonna paint the front sides let it dry for a second paint the back sides and then we can start putting things together now we're gonna attach all of this together so I'm just gonna put a quick bead of glue down here trying not to make it too thick but I'm going to stand it up because I want it to be able to stand up just like that. There we go. One side done. Move to this side. Put another deal of glue down. There we go. And then I'm going to attach those like that. But I'm going to let that set just a second. And that's how it looks. I'm gonna let this set for a minute before I do something with the stem. Wanted to add a little bit of jute or twine or something to the top here because it just it's, doesn't look like a stem and I didn't really want to paint it. So I took a little bit of the jute rope from the Dollar Tree and I just unraveled it I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. So I'm gonna just wrap around a little bit, not, and see kind of how it looks. Hope I don't regret it. DIY number two. You will need nine Jenga blocks and they're from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just using a wine cork. I cut it in thirds and I'm just using one of the ends. This is a pretty simple project, just gluing these together. I wish I had one of those precision glue guns where, you know, you get just a really fine bead of glue. But I don't, and so this is what I have. So this is what we're using, just gluing these two together, then taking two more, trying to get a fine bead of glue. That was not a fine bead of glue, but let's see if we can't spread some over. And then I'm gonna glue these three together. To assemble, we're just going to run a bead of glue down the center of the middle one. If you can get your glue gun to work. There we go. And I try to I try to center this line here with the center of this, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Then again. Doesn't have to be perfect, but lining it up, you know, just to make it look nice. We're going to add one on each end. This project is so easy, you guys. 
really anybody could make it. And if you used like wood glue and just let it set, even you know kids could get involved. This is the shape and how it looks right now. And what we're gonna do is add a little topper to it to make kind of a pumpkin looking shape. Put that little guy on top. Now we're gonna paint. I'm gonna paint the top of this, this espresso color. And I don't know what color I'm coloring, coloring, painting the base. I was thinking green maybe, or like a, a white or something a little bit different. But orange works too. And we'll let that dry. Okay, here we are again, and I'm trying to finish this little guy. It did have a cork on this side. I took the cork off and cleaned it up for the most part, but I'm gonna make that the bottom now. This is the top, and I'm gonna glue on, just one hot glue on one of these little cubes that I have, and then I'm gonna probably paint it with this Anita's acrylic paint in the color espresso bean and I do have a helper today and then I thought so I was trying to find a ribbon I don't know what footage I have so I'm just going to re-explain part of it if and if it's a repeat sorry anyway so I had like just different kinds of jute and it just I don't know it wasn't looking right so I did find did find I have some raffia um and that's what I'm going to use I'm just going to Maybe wrap it around a couple times and tie just a little bow. And then I thought, what if I added like some of these um, little, like, you know, like that? Maybe? No? I don't know. We're just going to stick with the original idea of just putting the raffia on and getting that done. And then we'll see where we go from there. Just putting a little bit of the top. Captain has been trying to get this raffia for the last, I don't know. I, I know, it, it looks like it might be fun to play with, but it's not a toy, it's not a toy. So I thought about like wrapping it around, I don't know, maybe I should paint really quick so it can dry while I'm trying to think of what to do. So I don't have a plate. Great, what kind of, what kind of crafter are you, Lisa? Just gonna squeeze a little bit off. Just kind of brush it on. Obviously, I need a little bit more. I just didn't want to put too much too much on it. For, well, there you go. Now we put a little glob on. I was trying to avoid the excess paint issue. Ooh, watch out. No, 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 no. I know. You're like, but mom, this looks like something really cool to play with. Don't, no, don't, don't, no, no. Let's not move stuff. Stop. Okay, that's good. Just a little bit of color on there. It doesn't have to be... I'm trying to go for the rustic look. That's what people say when they don't like finish stuff off. I'm just going to go for the rustic look. So, I think I'll wrap this around a couple times and then glue on... I don't know. I don't know. I just know that Captain's going to try to play with this as soon as I start messing with it. Okay, so for the most part, it's dried out. And I'm just going to wrap this around. I guess maybe I need to tie it. And then, here. Let's create a little loop. See, raffia is not that easy to work with, you guys. So let's tie it. Let's tie it on this side. And then let's tie it back over here. And this side only has... Well, I need to kind of loosen those up, but 
Anyway, anyway, let's do a little bow in the front, shall we? Let's. Come on, little guy. Be still. You know how your vision's like one thing and then the end result is like not that? It's kind of what we're dealing with right now. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot glue so it stays. It's a little bit more than a little, but okay. I mean, that looks kind of cute, just like that. So that's the finished product. That's how this little project turned out. DIY number three. For this, you're gonna need four wine corks, and um, they don't have to be the same, really, or anything like that. And then I had cut the, for the other project, I had cut a wine cork in thirds, and so I'm just using another chunk of it for this one. So, this one is also, again, very easy. We're just gluing two of them together. Let me do this. And pretty and it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna glue them together. And it looks kind of like that. I'm just using some Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint in the color pumpkin, which is kind of fitting because this is a pumpkin. <laughs> I know. Awesome. You could really paint, get all these strings out of here. You could really paint the pumpkin any color you wanted to. Um, I've seen people do green. I've pe seen people do white. I've seen people do just all kinds of colors, but I'm going to start and just start applying. I'm sure that some of this is gonna be soaked in. And we see we have a little bit of a goopy glue showing, but um, I'm just trying to do kind of a light coat, not, not trying to be super dark with it. And that's how it's looking so far. I think I'm gonna paint this brown or brownish color. I have brown right here, but I'm gonna wipe off this. I'm gonna put a little like piece of jute around it so I don't have to get too, too close to the base. This is in the color Espresso. To finish this little guy off, I'm just gonna wrap some of this twine around. I've already tied a little bow at this end so to save myself some time. So I'm just gonna wrap around Till I get to spot, cut this. It's a little loosey goosey, but. Okay. I may need to go over this with paint, but because you can still kind of see the name on the cork, but also I think it's okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, see that got kind of goopy. You just need to be careful with the um, hot glue. But I think I'm gonna glue this around and then add a little bow. And maybe some berries if I can find some like little berries or something. Let's put a little little dab right there. And 
And then I'm just gonna wrap it around. I guess that can be the back. Cause that's got the part for it, like that. Anyway, I'm making it the back. of a rustic primitive look I'm digging it DIY number four this is a Dollar Tree pumpkin and I started to glue some smaller twine but just to kind of zhuzh up the pumpkin <laughs> I'm gonna add some of this rope to it because I just I don't like the stem that much so I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, glue kind of wrap the rope around and kind of see how that looks see if it See if it looks a little bit better. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Now these pumpkins are really lightweight. They're styrofoam. They, they'll fly away if you put them on your porch. So just be careful where you end up using these. These are going in a little basket in my house. So I think we'll be fine. I like to cut off the rope kind of at a sharp angle because I feel like that helps it when I'm trying to like tuck it in a spot. It's not sticking very well. A little more glue on this side. You're gonna stay down, you know what I'm saying? Now I have to be careful. Where's my tool? Get another tool. Because, so, Right here, adding a little bit of glue, getting my little tool because I'm trying to hold it down right there. I bought these little tools on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below, but I think I got seven of them for $1. $1, I wish. I got seven of them for $7. They used to sell something like this one at the Dollar Tree. These are makeup brushes, actually. Um, and so they used to sell these, or, but I never saw them. I never saw them at my Dollar Tree. So awesome for the people that found them at Dollar Tree. I was not one of those people. So I think that looks a little bit better. Obviously I need to kind of like clean it up a bit and take off all these, um, but that's how it's gonna look. See, I need to take off all these strings. And y'all, I got the cutest, um, I didn't need to sand anything today, but I got the cutest little um, vacuum cleaner, craft vacuum cleaner, and it's it's just like a little itty bitty thing, but I have to show you. Um, get all these twigs off. Twigs, like, ugh. Um, look how cute. And then, it's not very loud and you just go like that and it, it vacuums up all the little like residue and stuff off of your table. I love it, so cute. I'll link that below too, but I was like, yes, that is so cute. I saw, I think it's um, DIY the Jazz Girl. I'm sorry, I don't remember everybody's names and stuff. Okay, there. See, I think that just looks a little bit better. And I could go back and try to burn off some of the ends and I might do that because that would give it just a little bit more rustic look to it um, with some of those burnt edges. But yeah, there you go. So that's how that pumpkin turned out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. All that kind of stuff just tells YouTube like, hey, she's got a pretty cool video and I would appreciate it so much. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.